Oh dear. <laughs> Looks pretty wet. Oh well, the crag is soaking wet today. It's been really heavy rain the last couple of days. I kind of didn't really know how this crag responds, whether it gets really seepy, but evidently it does. <laughs> oh well. There are some gaps actually in between the wetness. I think most of the holes I need to just work the actual crop smooth seem still dry. Maybe I can have a session after all. After my last video about warming up, many of you asked the immediate question, which I kind of thought might happen, which is, well, how do you warm up outdoors, especially when there's not much to warm up on? So as you can see, this crag today, um, well, I'm by myself anyway, so I don't have a bealy or anything, but also all the other roots are wet. So I'm going to be, the only bit that's dry is the crux of a 9A. So how do you warm up on that? I'll show you how that works in practice. And yeah, it's not very complicated. Basically, I just warm up by jugging up the, the rope to start with. That's the first stage. So that just does a little bit of arm pulling on a jug, literally a jug. It's the clip sticking done. So already I've just, I've jugged up a little bit and I've had a wee faff about in the rope and I'm already, my, I can feel my temperature, body temperature is much higher and especially my upper body. Um, I can feel my muscles are, uh, you know, just getting moving a little bit. They've got a bit of blood flowing and I do actually feel kind of ready to do some exercise actually. In one of the comments in one of my previous vlogs where I was working this route on my own on the shunt, someone was commenting that if the clip sticked their way up a route, they were a bit uncomfortable because they were hanging off one bolt. And um, I, like I know what you mean and right now I'm hanging off one bolt and if that bolt were to fail I'd be stuffed um, but I don't think that bolt is going to fail <laughs> so some some people will not be comfortable with hanging off one bolt um, and so maybe self belay climbing is not for you uh, that's a level of risk that I'm totally happy with I think it's way less risky than the drive uh, that I took to the crag this morning and I'm, I'm quite happy to do it. If I was climbing with someone else, I would prefer to be on two bolts. Um, but there's a lot in, in my channel in general that um, I'm happy with, but I don't advocate people copying. <laughs> it's a, a level of risk that I'm totally tough, uh, happy with, um, but it's maybe not for everyone. So just hanging around on the rope like this, it actually requires a little bit of core tension. So I'm already, I'm actually quite hot now and um, like my head's hot, I feel like I want to take my hat off. So my body temperature is nice and warm, so I've successfully done the first task, no problem. But I've not actually done any moves yet. Yeah, so actually like just pulling on there, I'm really quite hot now. In fact, I think I'm going to need to take this yearly off and then I'll pull on, sit back in the rope, pull on again, sit back in the rope, pull on a little bit more and uh, then I'll do, pick the easiest move that I can start to try and I'll do a kind of non-committal try on one move and then another move and then another move um, and I'll just repeat that with uh, going by how warmed up I feel uh, and progress to doing more bits of moves until I can do whole moves and then, you know, I mean, if, if I'm lucky, once I'm well beyond my warm up, then I'll actually be doing more than one move together because this is the crux of my project. For this crux move, I really need to just spend ages sussing out the body position. So actually for a warm up, when, I, when I'm not warmed up, it's quite safe just to pull on. The holes are not especially bad. It's actually making moves that's hard. So just pulling on and just having a feel of the body position and just doing the work of getting it dialed um, served as a really nice warm up. So I'm like barely pulling off the, the rope, but that's what I nearly need to suss this move out. So you can see I just sort of pulled in um, and didn't really commit to the move. But that's fine, I'm gonna do that a few times. But the whole, and the whole time, of course, I'm thinking, is there another way? Is there a better way to do this move? I'm just making sure that I take nice long rests in between times doing that. It's all quite kind of non-committal at the moment, at least for the next 10-15 minutes. Oh. 
Yeah, your just levels of power just go up as you get warmer. That was a bit brutal though. But the thing is, all these holds are quite, quite big. So it's not as if you're pulling on really nasty crimps or anything like that. Maybe if it was like super small holds, then I would take another approach, like try a different section of the route. But the fact that it's just like really burly and powerful means it's, it's kind of fine to just try bits of moves and then moves. So as you can see, there's nothing fancy to warming up at the crag on hard routes. It's just getting on the route, pulling up on the quick draws, pulling up on the rope, making progressively more difficult movements and then carrying right on with your session. I would add that some people like to take a fingerboard to the crag and hang that off a bolt or a piece of gear and use that to warm up on. I've never done that myself, but I do think it's a great idea. And if you have one that's mobile, then go for it. I don't tend to do that so much myself because many of the crags that I'm going to tend to have a walk-in. One thing that I will go into in a future episode is keeping yourself warm and warmed up in between red points, but I'm not quite at that stage with this route yet. For now, I'm going to go away and do some more training to see if I can get some better links on it. 